Hello, good morning. This is Breakfast with Louise Minchin and Dan Walker. The main news today, Donald Trump's national security adviser, Michael Flynn, has resigned over his contacts with Russia. General Flynn discussed American sanctions with the Russian ambassador before Mr Trump took office and is accused of misleading the vice president about what happened. Here's our Washington correspondent, David Willis. Barely three weeks into his presidency, Donald Trump has lost one of his closest advisers. Retired Army General Michael Flynn, a man renowned for his close ties to Russia, resigned amid allegations that he misled senior officials about conversations between him and the Russian ambassador a few weeks before the Trump administration took office. In his resignation letter, Mr. Flynn said that as the incoming national security advisor, he held numerous phone calls with foreign counterparts, ministers and ambassadors. Unfortunately, he goes on, because of the fast pace of events, I inadvertently briefed the vice president-elect and others with incomplete information regarding my calls with the Russian ambassador. Missing, it appears, from Mr. Flynn's account was a discussion of sanctions imposed by the outgoing Obama administration in response to Russia's meddling in the U.S. election. Any offer to lift such sanctions by a member of the incoming administration would be a breach of American law. Meanwhile, it's emerged that the U.S. Justice Department warned the Trump administration several weeks ago that Mr. Flynn's account of the conversation differed from that of intelligence officials who were listening in. The department also advised the president that Mr. Flynn had potentially left himself open to blackmail by the Russians. All of which prompts the broader question, what did the president himself know about Michael Flynn's activities and when did he know it? David Willis, BBC News, Washington.